Howdy friends, welcome back. Um, Sam here with Tug Fly Shop, and as always, the man behind the camera, Justin Pilot. Going off of the last couple videos we did, getting ready for, for, for cold weather season, delayed harvest, whatever the case. As we approach the winter months, like our last video, midges stay prevalent, but something else to account for is our little black winter stones. Starting off with this fly, I've got a size 12, yeah, size 12 full and mill jig force with a 3.8 millimeter uh, full and mill tungsten bead in black. Uh, I've opted for a little bit larger thread on this fly. I'm going to go ahead and start behind the bead. This is a 6 alt uni in black. Uh, it's going to help me uh, bulk up the fly a little bit where I need to get a taper. Um, so once I build a dam behind that bead, I'm going to just run my thread back, give it a little spin to tighten back up there. I've got some medium black round rubber legs. Um, I'm going to tie two little legs off the back of this fly here. Oh, if I can, if I can capture it. Um, keep my tension. Get it, get everybody splayed the way I want them. Um, so the tail's in. Next up, I'm gonna take a stretch tubing in black. This is just regular old Wopsy stretch tube. This is gonna be my rib here. Sorry, I didn't mean to burp into the camera. I'm uh, nursing a ginger ale at the moment. Once our rib's in place, our body pretty much is just going to consist of dubbing. This is an easy peasy fly, dubbing in rubber. This is a black hair's ear dub from Hairline. So I'm going to take a decent little bit of this, um, and I'm going to dub this fairly loose. That way when we rib it, um, that stretch tubing cuts in, and you can see these segments. Build that up. I'm going to add just a little touch more here for bulk. Once again, pretty loose in there. Um, I'm going to pause here where we're at and go ahead and get this ribbon going. Um, if we do it right, you'll see, you'll see that tube and cut in pretty good. Um, it's not super distinct, but we can see those segments now a little bit better. Get that excess tubing out the way. Um, I'm going to slide back down just a touch with my thread into the thorax here. Um, it's okay if we go over some of the dubbing. It's okay if we go over you know, the last wrap or two of uh, stretch tubing we did there. And... I gotta grab another little rubber leg off this off this big piece. Um, what I'll do here, if we wrap this rubber around the hook, keep tension, get that where we want it. Um, just one or two more locking wraps in place, and do the exact same on the other side. Mr. Pilot, did I turn my did I turn my mic on? Okay, cool. We're just double checking before we get yeah. all the way through this. Um, I'll trim those. Uh, keep the legs long, just like everything else. We can always we can always take away. We we can't add more. Um, for this thorax, I'm gonna change dubbings real quick. I'm gonna go to a black SLF dub. too much I'm gonna dub this this section a lot tighter than I did um, our body so we'll go in between these rubber legs if I feel like I've got enough bulk go ahead and hop in front here get everything covered up uh, from here I'm gonna whip finish once we get that second whip finish there. Um, you could leave these legs long. It's not gonna matter a ton. I'm gonna, 
I'm going to just take a little bit off each one of these, though. Eyeball it till I'm till I'm happy with it. Um, and boom, there we go. Uh, super easy guide fly. Takes no time at all. Um, super, super durable, especially with that stretch tubing rib we did. Um, these things fish awesome. So don't forget about them this winter when you're freezing in your waders. Um, thanks for joining us again. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, come see me in any one of our three brick and mortar locations, Waynesville, Bryson City, and Silva, North Carolina. Um, if you're not around, that's okay. Come check me out at www.flyshopusa.com. Thanks, everybody.